Hi, it's Abigail Wright from the Peace of Persistence, and uh, it's day five since my surgery. Um, I'm actually alone this morning for the first time. It's kind of nice because I can hear my own thoughts, but it seems a little premature to me. Um, it's only for five hours, so I thought I could do it. Um, I've got some friends coming later this afternoon to help me out and just to visit. But um, I managed to get myself out of bed, which was tricky uh, because of those lovely boots back there um, that we call bunny boots, but I like to call them my foot prison because I can't get out. And yesterday I weaned myself down off the Vicodin, so I'm like nauseous, sick to my stomach. Um, so I'm like nauseous, dizzy, vertigo-y, all those fun things. Um, and I'm just trying not to be annoyed. So. I woke up early this morning and I'm not going back to bed because uh, I don't want to deal with my foot prison. And um, it's a beautiful day, as you can see behind me. And um, there's one thing that I don't do regularly, but I'd like to do more regularly that I'm going to try this morning to cope. Uh, it's called the Miracle Morning. And there's this man, Hal Elrod, who is a motivational speaker and a business coach and kind of guru for me anyway, and um, he had injured himself way more than this uh, in a car wreck, you know, long, long time ago, and he recovered from it despite what all the doctors said. He's even run an ultra marathon um, since then, and he bounced back and became a success, and then the recession hit, and he, you know, had some major problems again, financially speaking, and so he needed to devise something to help him kind of get out of the rut and he devised this miracle morning by studying all the morning habits of successful people. And um, there are six steps. <laughs> um, the first one is uh, spiritual. Um, so like meditating or praying, and I like to meditate, so I'm gonna do that. The second one is affirmations. Um, and I listen to these affirmations by my acting career coach, Dallas Travers. Uh, the third one is visualization. Then exercise, which I guess I do have some exercises I can do. Um, reading and scribing, journaling. Um, so I'm gonna do all of those things and hopefully they'll make me feel a little bit better. Let's see what happens. Paul recommends that you write your own affirmations and he's got a great formula for it. I have a few. What I like to do actually is to use um, Dallas Travers, who's an acting career coach. She has these living mantras. How is it so easy to face my fears and grow? I have everything I need to live the life I desire. Joy follows you everywhere because you are pure joy. Your light shines so brightly that you can't help but positively impact everybody you meet. Enjoy this fun feeling as you inhale deeply. Now exhale and whisper the word fun. I love those affirmations. Sometimes I think they're really cheesy, but um, they always put me in a better mood. So the next thing I do is visualization. And I like to use a technique uh, that I learned on a Jack Canfield website. Imagine that you're going into a movie theater. When you close your eyes, you look up from the seats and you see yourself in the movie screen. You imagine something you'd like to be doing better. You know what, I think I'm gonna pick skiing. I'm skiing really well, but the part of me in the movie theater wants to be part of it, so I get up out of my seat and I walk around and I walk up the stage and I walk into the movie. And now I'm skiing. And now I'm looking down this great, fantastic hill and I'm going. And I'm cutting really well. And there are some bumps and I'm fine. And I go flying through the air <laughs> and I land really well. I get to the bottom and I go back to the ski lift and I'm on my way back up again. At the end of the visualization, I walk out from around the movie screen and I shrink it and I 
make it the size of a cracker. And I pick up the movie and I eat it. And I swallow it and I absorb all of the things uh, that I just saw, which is that I'm gonna be able to ski again. That's one of my goals. Usually I use a professional goal, but right now um, with my healing, I think it's good for me to have physical things to look forward to as well. I'm gonna go do my pedaling exercise and I'll be back for the next stage, which is reading. While I was doing my exercise, I listened to a podcast by Hal Elrod. He has a weekly podcast that he puts out. And this week he was talking about um, affirmations. In fact, I can tell you specifically, it was the fireside chat and interview with UJ Ramdas. If you look it up on their website, which is halelrod.com, um, you can find it on his Achieve Your Goals podcast. It's a really good podcast and they were talking about how to write affirmations. I think it's super useful. Anyway, so now that I've done meditation, affirmations, visualization, exercise, I'm gonna go on to reading. And right now I'm reading, um, which I don't think you need to really watch, but right now I'm reading a book by Brene Brown called Rising Strong. It's about how when you are vulnerable and you take risks, sometimes you fall. <laughs> So it's kind of thematic and uh, it's about how to rise again after a fall. So it's kind of useful for me. For those of us who fear being alone, coping with the solitude inherent in this process is a daunting challenge. For those of us who prefer to cordon ourselves off from the world and heal alone, the requirement for connection of asking for and receiving help becomes the challenge. I've definitely had to deal with that recently. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I really... I think Brene Brown is a wonderful, wonderful writer, and, and uh, if you struggle with courage or vulnerability, I really recommend her highly. Anyway, so back to the journaling. What I usually journal about, um, the first thing I do is just write some things that I'm grateful for. And you know what? I'm grateful for the miracle morning. I'm glad that my friends encouraged me to reach out and be vulnerable with the piece of persistence and let you all in on my process um, toward discovering happiness and success for myself. Um, especially because it's gonna be a long time before I can lug my equipment around and, and do interviews again. So um, although that's in the works, it's gonna be a little while. Um, and I don't know, it's, it's nice to reach out. I, if you find some value in these videos, I hope you'll let me know. I'm really grateful for my parents for helping me out. I'm super grateful for my friends and thank you for being there for me as well. I only have to name a few things. I could go on forever as much as I would rather sit around and do nothing. This miracle morning is really healing me. And I'm grateful that you're part of it and um, I hope you enjoy the miracle morning. Highly recommend it and I'm gonna keep bringing you suggestions like that to increase your happiness and success every week. So please subscribe and come back next Friday to see what we have. I'm looking forward to seeing you again on the Piece of Persistence.